Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure and honor being with you today as we start a brand new Let's Play series of The Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Now, if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, also welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Uh, what is The Magnificent Truffle Pigs? I will tell you what it is in a brief little description here. So The Magnificent Truffle Pigs is a first-person romantic metal detecting game. It combines laid-back detecting and exploration with a strong narrative, all set in a beautiful English countryside. It's a game about trying to find something, something that we don't know. So uh, I saw this on Steam and, uh, you know, I had it on my wish list for a little while, well, actually for a long while, I should say, <laughs> should say and uh, I was lucky enough to get a key early to actually play this game so i am recording these game or this game a few days before actual release day and uh thank you so much i i, I really do appreciate when i do get keys for that um this is developed by funked and published by amc games so if you are new and you want to see the magnificent truffle pigs and you want to see all of this and you want to see a complete let's play series of this game do me a favor and actually hit that like button because when you hit the like button it tells me you want to see more of the magnificent truffle pigs all right with further ado let's go ahead and just start in a new game sometime last week reaching to an old friend next week that's all i've got then the farm vanishes and so does that earring huh really well, if you can't manage the whole week, maybe just a day or two. No, it has to be now. They start tearing the farm apart next week. I'm sure. I'm sat right outside it now. I can see the sign. No, I already tried Claire. She's away partying at a festival. Jen's in Hong Kong on business. No, you weren't the last. I just thought, you know, with, with the kids and everything. Of course not. Look, oh, I'm sorry, Sally. Forget I asked. <sighs> Jake's gone away. And I just thought we could get the old gang back together. You know, for a bit Aww. of fun. Like the old days. Oi, detecting is fun. Look, <laughs> don't worry about it. I've... I've actually been thinking of asking Adam if he'd help. Yes, that Adam. Don't say it like that. You lot just never understood him. And, well, he's never let me down. So this Adam guy seems pretty important to her. Jake isn't here, is he? Besides, Adam's a friend. Nothing else. Mm. And despite what you all think, he is good for me. Mm. I don't need to ask anyone else for help. Trust me. I need Adam. I shouldn't have called. Not at this hour. I ignore me. Speak soon, yeah? Hey, Adam. Oh. It's me. Oh, look, I know it's been years, but I've got myself into a situation. I don't think I can handle it. Not on my own. That unfinished business at the farm? We need to finish it. Now. The old business we had on the farm. Gotta finish it now. So I've always wanted to go like metal detecting. I think that would be so fun and you know, very calm and relaxing thing to do. Like take a metal detector on the beach and just, you know, see what you can find, right? Or even like take it into my backyard or whatnot. Oh. Okay. Adam, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Oh, we have a voice. Don't worry, I'm close by. God, you weren't kidding about getting an early start. I was hoping we might have a lazy start to the week. <laughs> Grab okay. breakfast, mooch around, get reacquainted. Mooch no. around, eh? There'll be 
plenty of time to do that while we detect. Good to know these things are still working. They are, which is a surprise considering how cheap and nasty they look. I always try to find an excuse to use a walkie-talkie. Haven't we grown out of toys? Oh, chill out. They'll do the job. Claire and I once chatted all the way across the valley with him. Grab the shovel and the trowel, then head out to the fields. Hurry up. You're missing a beautiful day. <laughs> okay, so collect the shovel. So as I said, I always find an excuse to use a walkie-talkie because I don't know, I just I find them fascinating, right? Um, and like when we go on like trips or something, we go with friends uh, and, and you know we take multiple cars down the interstate. You know, I always want to say, you, dude, we should get a walkie-talkie and we can we can communicate back and forth. Look, that's what a cell phone is, forehead. Uh, okay, so let's take the trowel, right? Take the trowel, use the trowel, fantastic, and then take a shovel. There we go. So we got the trowel and we got the shovel. Let's go ahead and open up the door here. Oh, what a magnificent day. Because it's magnificent truffles. Hey, I don't know. But this game looks really good. Oh, isn't it amazing up here? Uh, yeah, actually it is. Oh, it's incredible. These views are incredible. I love that we can have choice dialogue. I'm so glad you're here, Adam. Still can't quite believe it. A whole week with no distractions. Huh. All right. Look at how big. Oh. Oh. Did you hear about the wind turbines? What? We can have like a conversation text. Oh, that's so good. What about the wind turbines? So two giant wind turbines have just been erected. Okay. Where are you going with this? <laughs> well, if you give me a minute, two wind turbines have just been installed. Okay. The first one thinks, oh, we're going to be neighbors for years. I should break the ice. So it turns to the other one and says, hey, uh, what kind of music are you into? And the second wind turbine says, I'm a huge metal fan. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. <laughs> mm, right now, this is my day job. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> I love the banter between them. That's funny. Cheap and unlocked. All right, great. Uh oh. Your detector's over by the gatepost. Right by the fields, you'll be scouring first. Oh, I see. The metal detector there. All right, cool. So collect the detector. So far, I, I, I'm i like involved. Like, I am uh, definitely. Uh, oh, look at that. Nice hot air balloon. I'm definitely um, like drawn in so far. So that's good, right? There's a nice little car there. Let's go ahead and grab our metal detector. So this is your metal detector. Fantastic. Um, I, I don't think we go towards Just the car, right? On and walk around. As soon as you get close to anything metal, it'll beep like crazy and light up. Right. And then we dig. I think I get it. Tell me more. Uh, no, I think we understand. That's it. I just walk around swinging this thing about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. You could probably train a monkey to do this. Maybe I just did. Oh. Touche. Oh, we're gonna have fun this week. Now, serious for a second. I usually work in straight lines rather than randomly walking around. It's easier that way. Yeah, it's more organized that way, of okay, course. Okay, you're the boss. For once, I'm not the boss. Now, let's see what you can find. All right, so I'm a little, I'm a little excited to use the detector here. So press E to turn on the detector. All right. We can do that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, dude, we walk really slow. I hear a little beep, though. All right. So, <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, we're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it. She said to walk in a line. And I'm trying to, like, look at the top there with the, oh, okay. We're getting close to something. It's probably right here, right? Go to our right. Oh. I think I think this is it right here. I think we are right here. We're right on top of it, whatever this may be. Okay, let's go ahead and put away our detector. Do we uh do we do we dig? Do we dig now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> 
You found something. It's underground, so you'll need to dig it up. All right, let's do that. So use E to dig. And then use the, you know, the trowel. There we are. I wonder what we're going to find. It. Oh, you found something. First find it. Achievement unlocked. Let's see. Uh, uh, looks like an old coin. We can take a photo of it. I'm sure uh, Beth will like it. Oh, you can actually rotate it and take a picture however direction you want it. That's really good. Right there. My first find, and it's money. Nice. Okay, so Beth, I mean, she she thinks it's okay. Please send me a photo. I did send you a photo. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I sent you the photo. What's she saying about that? I hope so. Sure about that? You scoured this place as a kid. Not much has happened here since. Again, I would love to do this. But you insist on staying here and standing. I don't get it. Come on, you know why. That earring? The best thing I ever found. The earring? The other one is definitely here, and I want to find it. Oh. That earring. You can't be sure the other one's here. It is. Always has been. Don't care what anyone else says. Last time, it wasn't just a lucky find, you know. Hmm. You're not going to drop it, are you? this obsession of yours <laughs> that earring changed my life okay i was only a kid but it changed everything still makes me smile thinking about it the money seemed like a lottery win back then oh and being in the papers being the center of attention it was nice you we could have done this years ago why now I asked Farmer Hobbs so many times, but he always said no. Maybe he thought he could find the other earring for himself. But not this time. What if he did, though? Well, he couldn't really, could he? Not now that he's dead. Oh. Just when you were starting to think the day would never come, he goes and dies. Surprised you didn't help him on his way. <laughs> Oi! No! Like that. He passed away. His hair sold up. And next week, they start installing a solar farm. Ooh. So this is it. The last chance for more fame and fortune. <laughs> it's the last chance to find that earring. I don't care about the money or being in the news again. Then why do you want the earring no, so bad? I, just want to... oh, I felt so good last time. I don't think I've ever been as happy. Huh, but that's interesting. On, just in case the builders arrive early and turf us off. Hmm. You mean I'm not supposed to be here? No, oh, relax, Adam. So she, like, gets a rush out of, I mean, finding stuff, right? Right? Maybe? I don't know. Let's go ahead and pick up our uh, metal detector and let... Oh. Hello, Beth. Hey, I've drawn a map for each field. Okay. I like to mark locations where I found something. And it's handy if you put your detector down, wander off, and then forget. All right, so let's use the map. Yeah, okay. So map. Okay, so here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. Oh, I love like the uh, the shadows of looking at the map. That's really good. So here we are. We're, we're in this like uh, big field, right? And, uh, you know, we, we found a little bit of something. So, I mean, I, honestly, like we just continue on kind of like laid back, right? That's the point of the game. So let's continue on. Uh, but yeah, so it seems like Beth, I mean, gets, you know, she... Uh, she gets some kind of, you know, some kind of uh, rush finding this. Oh my god, we're almost here. All right, so we're fi we found something again. Let's go ahead and dig it up. Really close next to, um, I guess, the penny that she she said. Let's dig this up. What do we got here? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Uh, maybe Beth knows what this is, because I certainly don't. A zip fastener. I'm not going to try and imagine the story behind how that got here. Okay. Oh, okay. She's like, cool, dude. <laughs> She's not impressed. Uh, she was way more impressed about the, uh, the penny. So if we look at her map now, yeah, now we got two spots going on there. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. I'm liking this. So far, this is... Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. There we go. Another item. Dig it up. And I forgot to mention in the beginning of the episode, if you are curious into this game, uh, it is out now. And uh, it is $11.99, I believe, on Steam. Uh, that's USD $11.99. So if you are interested, you can definitely go ahead and uh, pick it up for yourself and, and, you know, maybe get some achievements or just have a nice relaxing time finding things. And this looks like a heart-shaped, uh, I mean, photo, right? Photo frame. Lock it, maybe. Oh, look at the castle in the background. That's lovely. My first bit of jewelry. It doesn't look that great. What do you think? Please don't insult it. Just zooming in on your photo. Hold on. Oh. We should clean that one up. Yeah. Not precious. Nah, sorry. Just some cheap metal. And it's broken. Literally a broken heart. <laughs> I wonder what the picture of is. King of broken hearts. Uh, ooh, where's Jake? Are you and Jake over? Ooh. Seems odd that Jake isn't here. Yeah, you where's Jake? Once. We're engaged, not joined at the hip. Oh. Yeah, but still. He's gone away with his annoying rugby friends for a few days. That's all. I'll be back soon. I wonder if she has Maybe a thing for Adam. Him. Let him know he's missing out on all this fun, right? Maybe. And he is missing out. He's got no idea how much he's going to out on. on what on on what on what i want to know uh, i guess on everything here i feel like she has an idea of some sort i don't know let's continue now there is a little bit of a field action over here uh, that we can also take a look at doubt there's going to be anything in this pathway so let's just go forward a little bit here we'll continue up the line and, and I'm, i am trying to like stay within like uh like the wall barrier i guess um like kind of like do from the outside and work my way in yeah it's kind of cool look at the wind turbines it's definitely a different kind of paced game i've never played a game such like this before but i am really interested in the story uh already like i said in the beginning it, it kind of drew me in um and i like now like you know, she's hanging out with Adam. I know this is beeping. She's hanging out with Adam. Uh, she's engaged to Jake. And it seems like she might have something for Adam. I don't know, dude. All right, let's dig. There we go. There we are. And oh, what is that? Is that a bottle cap? It is. It's a Nuka-Cola bottle cap. Something from Fallout, maybe. I don't know. It just looks like a regular, like, orange soda, maybe, bottle cap. Nothing too, uh, too crazy. I'm sure she won't be impressed. It's thirsty work. She doesn't even, like, she didn't even want to reply to that. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. Well, they weren't kidding when they said, like, this game was a very chilled and relaxed game. Kind of sit back to and kind of enjoy a story. And sometimes that's, like, that's okay. Like, sometimes that's what you need and that's what you want in a game is, like, have a story. Kind of experience a story, right? Hey, and relax. I to ask, is your detector working okay? Oh, well, yeah, actually so. it is. Why? Oh, it's my old one. The battery can be a bit temperamental. Your old one? You mean I've got your cast off? Uh-oh. Yeah, afraid so. <laughs> Hand me down. I'll still find more than you. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I am still going to find more than you. I seem to forget I'm a pro. You might have a flashy detector, but I have got a lucky one. You found the earring with this one, right? <laughs> ah. I did. But that wasn't anything to do with the detector, just me and my hard work. Oh, we'll see about that. I guess whoever finds the most this week wins. <laughs> <laughs> I like your ambition. Maybe we'll make a truffle pig of you yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? The, a, a, a truffle pig? Oh, blame Dad. He started calling me a truffle pig because I could sniff treasure through all the mud. <laughs> oh, I loved that nickname. It became our gang name too. Me, Claire, Sally, Jen. We were the truffle pigs. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's truffle pig one you're holding. <clears throat> You named your metal detector Truffle Pig. Oh, no, hold on. I'm beeping. What? Did you find something else? 
Oh, this false alarm. It was my crazy person detector going off because it overheard you calling your detector truffle pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Anyway, you already knew I was crazy. Oh, yeah. That's why you agreed to come here. Lured to an isolated farm by a crazy woman. And only one of them will leave. Uh oh. What? <laughs> I'm sure one of the truffle pig t shirts Dad had made for us is still in my attic. I should dig it out. I hope you're not expecting me to be seen in one of those. Mm, no, I think you're safe on that count. I love how like their their chemistry seems like really good. Um, there might be something going on between the two, or if there isn't, there should be something going on between the two. Let's just say that, because uh, they seem uh, they seem very like like they seem very in, in like not, I, I I say into each other, but like they they. Like, yeah, good chemistry. Like, they're really, they really know a lot about each other. They, they can, like, finish each other's sentences, right? In a way. Want to break oh. the lunch? Your detector must almost be out of juice. We can recharge it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, after this field, maybe? L let's carry on for a little while. Okay. Let's see how long that thing lasts. It's probably not going to last. It's probably going to die immediately, right? I wonder, like, how long these things actually last for in real life. And I wonder how much, like, a metal detector actually costs. I've always wanted one, but I never have, like, looked into, um, like, the prices of them. I, if I were to guess, maybe, like, maybe, like, around $300? Uh-oh. 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 There we go. Nice. Let's start digging. All right. Dig up. What do we have here? Oh, day one overtime. Uh, looks like a, oh, it's a button. Okay, so it's a button. It's a nice little turtle button. How cute. Let's take a picture of that, send that to Beth. And the award for the weirdest merch goes to <laughs> Turtle. That's maybe opening a door. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. The 70s were, I would love to have read that, but I, I can't believe that went by so fast. Is there any way to like kind of like reread my messages? Because uh, I, I wanted to wanted to read that more there. We'll continue on. All right. Oh my God, that scared me. Your battery is running low. Uh oh. Okay, looks like my battery finally died. Right, let's break for lunch. See you at the car. Last one back smells. All right. So the car should be yeah, right over there. All right, good. Ah, how lovely. This car is going to be so muddy by the end of the week. I'm trying not to get crumbs everywhere. Are they inside the car? Wow, you really love your car, don't you? Oh, this uh -huh. is a little romantic, isn't so, it? How was your first morning of detecting? Um, I think it was pretty great, actually. No gold yet, but there's plenty of time, right? It's nice to be outside. That's the spirit. Are we going to pretend nothing's happened? Uh, what? what? Yeah, what? It's been so long, and you're just pretending we've never been apart. That nothing's wrong. Uh... Um, okay. Well, how's life been since we last saw one another? I wonder how long it's been. Shouldn't I be asking you questions? Like, why am I even here? <laughs> and how come you're not at work? Your job always seemed to come before everything else. You were obsessed with it. I was. I, I am. But... But... I've been working like crazy lately. I thought I'd see how Muddalot survives without me. Oh, If you insist. Muddalot. It's such a silly name. <laughs> Mom asked me what I liked, and I said, I like mud. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say you like mud? Oh, I wish she was still here to see what she created. Her little outdoor equipment company. It's an empire now. We're the biggest employer in the valley, you know. Really? Stanning would die on its ass without mud a lot. And when Dad retires, it's going to become your empire? Yep. Well, Dad'll probably put me in charge. I mean, I'm the eldest. Arguably the smartest. The most modest mud a lot sister. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely the best at tree climbing. <laughs> you remembered. But 
but yes, all of those things. Perfect CEO material. It must be mine, right? Absolutely. I I, I don't want to say are you if you're wrong, but and you're I, sure about that. I'd rather say that. As good as. I know Dad's been impressed, always saying how proud he is. So yeah, I'm sure that's been his plan. But you've never discussed it. What if you're wrong? Hmm. <laughs> I've been there longer than Lucy. It wouldn't make sense not to. And your dad agrees. There is okay, some certain. Dad hasn't certain said out loud, but it's always been the plan that I take over. You know, I thought we had plans once. Oh. We were a team till you ditched me. Forgot all about me. Uh oh. That's not fair, Adam. Or true. I never forgot about you. I never wanted you to go. I... I had to. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> but you still haven't said why. Are we ever going to discuss it? Why I'm really here? We're here to find that earring. Not sit here eating sandwiches and Jaffa cakes all day. Oh, Jaffa cakes. We should be fully charged again now. Come on, back to it. So, so the story obviously is something that uh, intrigues me, but the voice acting alone is like, it's also doing a great job. So the voice acting, uh, I, I am a little impressed with it. So I didn't check over there to see if there was any, uh, like, uh, I guess any, any items of any sort. I don't think there will be. I think we're in the clear. Yeah, we are in the clear. Let's go back to this side then. I'm going to check the map. Yeah, I think I think we might be okay. Yeah. All right, let's go here. Now, how are we on? Uh, oh, we're already next to something. Oh, yep, right here, right here, right. There we are. Found something. Go ahead and start digging. Again, I I, I would find this to be very enjoyable in real life. So you're very very satisfying and satisfying indeed. So here we are. We found a little little uh, little toy car. I'm sure she'll love it. Even I know that is this is can't some toys fetch a decent price. I don't know what I I, I said there. <laughs> Sadly, they're only valuable if they're pristine. Right. And boxed. Yeah. A fancy model of car would help too. But you're definitely getting the hang of this. Why thank you. Speaking of fancy cars, I noticed yours is a bit flash. Yes, yeah, she looks like she has like a BMW. Totally you, sister. Which is totally you. <laughs> you Uh-oh. You never drive further than mud a lot. It takes two minutes, but you just had to have the flashiest car in the village. Aw. Hey, I work like crazy. I'm allowed to treat myself. I worked hard for that car. Not wrong. Treat yourself it is a box that you only use to drag yourself from home to work. <laughs> One day I will go on a road trip. You can come too, but I might make you catch the bus for being mean. Fine by me. Anyway, I like buses. Being with other people, watching the world go by. Yeah? And what about the weirdo you always get on buses? Chatting away to themselves? <laughs> oh wait! You are the weirdo! No! Oh, you think I'm the weirdo? A lot of flirtation going on here. A lot of flirtation. Uh, and it is, you know, something. I mean, you think of, like, uh, her saying, Oh, when I go on a trip, you come along, too. I don't know. How would her, like, how would Jake feel about that? Does, does you know, would he be upset about it? Or, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the relation is or the relationship is like between her and Jake. I don't know. It's very interesting. Very intriguing. Yeah, she is like driving a nice red BMW, it seems. So that's fun. A little bit of this field left to do. Okay, yeah, I knew there was something kind of, yeah, something going on over here. This looked too good to be true, to just walk past. Let's go ahead and dig this up. What do we got here? Oh, uh, I mean, a flathead? <laughs> Nothing too special. A left-handed, are left-handed ones worth more? 
<laughs> she didn't find that amusing. So let's check the map here. So I wonder if there's like anything right here. Doesn't seem like it. I think we're, we're pretty much good to go. I don't know why I'm like so drawn into this like little area here with the with the pots and the the old pot and whatnot. So let's just continue on over here. There we are. We'll go down on this side of the field. There will be something over here. So, you know, the main mission here is to find an earring. I wonder if we will find it. And if we do, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, like, like I said, or like she said, like, she's just here to find it. And she doesn't care about the money and, and, the, and the glory anymore. What is that? <clears throat> Looks like a tent peg to me. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> My walkie-talkie looks like the battery is about to you, die. At one point, it seemed like you lived in a tent. <laughs> I pretty much did when I was a kid. I'm just so busy now. Can't remember the last time. But I should just jump in the car and find somewhere nice to pitch up. Yeah, why not? With Jake. It would be cozy, just the two of you. Oh. Far away from work and the stress. Oi. I guess I've just got into the habit of working, like, all the time. Weekends are, well, they're not really weekends. But it's all part of growing up, being an adult, I guess. No, I don't, I don't agree. Yeah. The Beth I used to know would take being in a field over being sat at a desk any day. Yeah, I agree. Yeah? That Beth used to like banana sandwiches or the smell of bonfires on her clothes. <laughs> Face it. We've moved on. But what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I did notice the walkie-talkie. Like I said, it, it, the battery is going down. Or is, you know... It's, uh... We are losing battery on our walkie-talkie. And if we lose communication to her, uh... Dude, uh... I guess meet up at the, uh... At the red BMW and that, that'd be that. Oh. Which way? Which way? This way? Yep, yep. All right. Let's dig this up. It's always like a mystery. It's like, ah. Oh. It's, it's a little bit of a thrill here. Like, oh, what are we going to find? What is this? Happy shopping? Like a nice pin or something? A shopping cart token. I guess that counts as a coin. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Huh? Only if you're a shopping cart. Thanks, Beth. All right. So yeah, this, this game is like, like the art style. I think I I might have mentioned it in the beginning, but the art style is like, it's very good. I I love it a lot. It's hard to like, I don't know. It's very hard to talk bad about this game right now because I'm just enjoying it a lot. There we go. And we'll do this. And it's just a new it's a new take, like something we haven't done ever on the channel before, which is another thing I like about it. Junior Truffle Pig Achievement Unlocked. I don't even know what the heck this is. Maybe a hairpin? Send that off to her. Bam. Just a rusty old hair clip. Looks like you could have dropped it last time you were here. <laughs> Wow. Maybe it fell off as a couple were having a moment of passion. Oh. Surrounded by cows. Yeah, you have got a strange idea of romance, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of hair, I almost didn't recognize you this morning. Were you expecting me to still have those ponytails? Oh. Actually, I've just had it restyled. What do you think? Uh, it's not for me? Yeah, I guess. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm I mean, not gonna. I'm no expert, but it suits you. Yeah, I'm not gonna say Thanks. anything bad about it. I was it. getting a bit bored with old me, so I just had it caught on a whim. Old you? I just felt like I needed to. I don't know. Become 
something else? Why? Why is that? Why do you need to become I'm something sure else? A new haircut can do that, but it looks great. I guess I look a bit different now too. Well, she's gonna say no. You look exactly how I imagined you would. <laughs> okay, that's enough hair chat. Go and find me something. All right. Ideally, something more exciting than a hair clip. Fair enough. How are we doing on our map? Uh, okay, wow, we got like a lot, a lot of ground to cover still. I'm really getting the, the, the I'm like getting a little vibe that maybe Beth, you know, uh, life kind of caught up on her, on her really quickly, right? And, uh, you know, maybe she met a guy and she went with life and, you know, she started to, to be a new person, a new her, um, you know, get rid of her hairstyle, not worry about what she used to be or what her past was and, uh, kind of to start fresh and start over again, not start over again, but maybe just kind of like not think about the good old days, I guess, now that she was living this whole new life in a way. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know, dude. Let's dig that out. Dig it out. Something more exciting than a hair clip. We will get a... I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't tell you. Something. There you go. Oh, some nails. We can mend the do dodgy fences. All right. It's got to be something over here, right? Got to be something around this area because this looks kind of spicy. Like you got a tire. You got a lot of overgrown stuff over here. It's got to be something good. All right. So far, not good. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. wait a sec. Is this where the fence actually goes? Oh, I see. Okay, so there's still a whole other section back there. Okay, I see, I see, I see. All right. How's the map looking right now? I feel like there's something over here. Yeah, there's definitely something over here in the middle of the field. Just be- yep, here we go. Just because it's a big area and there hasn't been anything found here. Found yet here. Okay. Do this, do that. A bobby pin? No, wait. I mean, hair clips better now. <laughs> Oh, our phone battery's going low, too, now. You can see in the top right-hand corner. Did Standing have a big punk rock scene? Not sure if you're joking or not. <laughs> so, oh, our walkie-talkie has a full battery now. Interesting. Keeping nappies in place. Before all these disposable, elasticated nappies, I used to pin them. Who'd change a nappy in a field? The farmer and his wife? Mrs. Of course. Oh, remember when she vanished? I remember all the mums gossiping about it. After that, Farmer Hobbs more or less lived like a recluse. Where did she go? No one knows. I mean, there were rumours. The school swirled with theories. A woman and her kids vanish, and we're just brushing it off as rumours and gossip. Yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> oh, we were kids with overactive imaginations. That's true. Probably just your regular <laughs> run-of-the-mill divorce. Happen all the time, but <laughs> people love to gossip and speculate. Great. Um, but I think we are going to end the first episode right there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as we uh, start this new let's play of Magnus. Mag uh -oh. Ready to wrap up for the day? Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Let's carry on. Oh, can we detect just a bit longer? The weather's so great. It would be a shame not to. I suppose so. For a short while, at least. All right, like I said, we are going to end the episode here. <clears throat> if you made it this far and you are very intrigued and interested to see what happens next and you haven't yet already, I would just recommend subscribing so that you can see when this next episode or episode two is going to be published so that we can continue the magnificent truffles together. Um, I'm liking this a lot, and I think that, you know, I'm going to record right after this episode's over um, and, and kind of see what this game has to offer. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today, and I will see you in the next video. Do take care.